Good morning. I have some students who are having a difficult time taking their zip package and loading it into their course. I'm hoping that this will help you. Currently, you can see that I'm in the Blackboard Basics Level 1 class. I'm going to click on the Start Here module. And when I get in there, I'm going to scroll down to the set of instructions where it will give me the steps so that I can import my package to my course. Now, first it asks me here to check my resources and make sure that I have my shell where I am an instructor, which is called your sandbox course. What I have done is I have used a random student's shell right here when you, I have opened it in a separate tab. See, so I have my instructions on one tab and I have my course shell in the other tab. So you can see this course shell has nothing in it. It's empty. And if you were an instructor in most locations, you will get an empty shell and your department would give you a package to load. And so that's why I make sure that you guys complete these steps. So I scroll down here and I look and here are my set of instructions. Import course package. I have some resources right here. This is the zip file that I will import to my course shell. I need to Follow step one. Right click on the zip file and save it to your computer. Do not open the zip file. That's important. I'm going to right click and I'll either get the options depending on which browser I'm in. In Firefox, I get save link as. If I'm in Chrome, I get save target as. Um, it's, it's both the same. Either way, you're going to save link as or save target as. You will find a location to save this on your computer. I'm just going to say save it to my desktop so that I will know, have an easy place to look for it. And I keep it as a zip file and choose save. I already had it saved on there and this one will replace it and that's fine. Here's the next step. Log into Blackboard and go to the course you are creating, which is your sandbox. It's going to ask me to click on the control panel and go to my packages and utilities. Here's my control panel. I need to go to my packages and utilities. Let me scroll down here. The next thing I'm going to do is say that I would like to import a package. That's my zip package. Then I'm going to click the import package button at the top. I need to browse my computer and go to the desktop so that I can find the zip file that I saved earlier. It's easy to identify because it's still in a zip folder. You see, I can tell this is a Word document. This is a folder. Down here, this is a PowerPoint. But I'm looking for the zip file that says Blackboard Training Level 1. And if I'm not sure about it, it'll give me an identifier. The date it was modified was March the 8th at 8.45 a.m. I'll select that zip package and click open. It's not going to unzip it. It's going to attach it to the software. Your next set of instructions is to scroll down and under select course materials, select all. Now, why do I tell you that? Because it's just easier. 
Do you know if you have content areas, adaptive release announcements? Well, listen, guess what? If it's not there, it cannot import it. So if you select it and it's not there, it's no big deal. So it's always just easier to say select all unless you have a reason for not selecting all. Then I'm going to click Submit. Now, this is a student shell, so I'm not going to click Submit because I need the student to complete that task. Once it's complete, you will receive an email that tells you you have imported your shell. Now, I'm going to pick on Jesse for just a second because I know his is already complete. Once it's imported, your blank shell should look like this. You've got a couple of buttons off to the left, announcements, how the course works, assignments. It's got this little box beside of it. That means it's empty. Discussion board and tools. Now, Fayetteville Tech has a required template for curriculum faculty to use. We are not using that in this course because the template for Fayetteville Tech curriculum faculty is already built up for us and that would defeat the purpose of me trying to teach you how to create. So this shell that you guys are importing, this package you're importing, is just something we've created specifically for this course to give you small pieces so that you can create and adjust your files and your course accordingly while you learn. Now one last thing I will share with you is if I'm in Jesse's class and I come over to the packages and utilities link under the control panel, I will see the same place where he imported his package. If I go to import package, it will share with me that he imported the Blackboard Basic Sandbox on March the 7th at 4.15, so I know he's completed that step successfully. Now, let me mention to you, you might get an error and maybe nothing imported. If that's the case for you, maybe you want to take a look right here. Did you accidentally download this zip file, right click, save link as, save this set of instructions, and try to import the set of instructions? That is possibly what's happening if you're receiving an error and nothing loads. So you see, this file here is a .zip file right here. This is a .docx. If you import a .docx file, see this is the instructions. It will not give you what you need. Please make sure you are importing the zip package by right clicking on the link that says .zip. I hope this helps some of you who are having a difficult time. Please let me know if you need more assistance.